Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some really great news to share with you guys pertaining to the untethered jailbreak status for iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 for all iOS-based devices, including but not limited to the newer ones such as the fourth generation iPad, the iPhone 5, and the fifth generation iPod Touch. All right, so to start off, I'm just going to open up Safari here and reference a couple of articles on my site. And the first one I actually discussed in my last update video, and that's kind of crucial to understand what's going on right now. So if you guys didn't see that video or you're unfamiliar with the news, just be sure to click the annotation that should be on the screen now. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, if you're on the mobile version, just be sure to check down below in the more info. There's a link to it there. However, I'm going to briefly summarize the last update in this video. I'll also include a full link to this article down below. So just be sure to check it out if you want to read up on it. All right. So earlier this month, Planet being a well-known iOS security expert and hacker that's contributed to the development of numerous jailbreak solutions in the past announced on Reddit that he actually has an untethered iOS 6.0.2 jailbreak running on his iPhone 5 right now. Now in his comment, he said that they can't release it just yet because it would burn the exploits that they're trying to save for themselves to actually test jailbreak compatibility in the future and that iOS 6.1 will be released very soon and it will likely break a small part of the jailbreak anyway. So there's no sense in releasing it just yet. So from this planet being is basically just restated what I've been saying on YouTube and on best tech info for the past couple of months now that they're going to wait until iOS 6.1 is released. Once it is, they're going to work on fixing it and bringing compatibility up to speed with 6.1. Then they're going to compile it and hopefully release it shortly after 6.1 is available to the public. Now fast forward a bit and we're going to transition into today's news. All right, so Planet being the same iOS security expert and hacker who announced on Reddit that he has successfully jailbroken his iPhone 5 on 6.0.2, announced that he's made some progress with with Pod 2G in the development of the jailbreak. And for those of you that don't know, Pod 2G is another prominent security expert and hacker on the iOS jailbreaking scene. Now, thankfully, even though Planet Being was kind of vague in his update, Pod 2G's response is really where the great news is at. He revealed that they discovered two new vulnerabilities in a single day. And if you've been a part of the jailbreak community for long enough, you'll know that's a huge feat to accomplish, especially in such a short amount of time. Also in his response to Planet Being, Pod 2G stated that they're still missing the initial execution code required for a public jailbreak. So hopefully after Apple issues 6.1, the iOS security experts who have been diligently working on developing an untethered jailbreak for all iOS based devices will have what they need to complete it. Now remember, patience is key when waiting for a jailbreak, and we're now closer than ever to a release. And as I stated in my last update, the first untethered jailbreak for iOS 5 that included the iPhone 4S was released in January of 2012. It took over three months, which is about as long as we've been waiting for an iOS 6 and iPhone 5 untethered jailbreak right now. But again, guys, like I said, it's crucial to be patient when waiting for these things. Again, they have to be done right, and they also have to be timed correctly because we don't want them to release an untethered jailbreak utility for all iOS-based devices and then just have Apple patch it shortly after after with the release of a new firmware like 6.1, which we know they're going to do very soon because they have released numerous 6.1 betas to developers and the latest iOS 6.1 beta is actually set to expire very soon. So right now we just have to wait for Apple to release the new firmware to the public. Of course, I will keep you guys completely updated on the status of the iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 untethered jailbreak. And I'll also be sure to notify you guys if anything changes and if the time frame for a release changes. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to rate it up if you did and be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Just leave any relevant comment and you'll be automatically entered to win a $200 Amazon gift card I'm giving away. And to be updated as soon as there's any news pertaining to the jailbreak, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.